say uh, how happy I am on behalf of all my colleagues, on behalf of my authorities, the two presidents and Lady Ashton just uh, in the back of the room. Uh, and I'm sure uh, I can speak on behalf of all the ambassadors of the other member states of the European Union represented here today. Uh, how happy we are to welcome Croatia, Joshka, our ambassador part of, and all the his team. Uh, it's the 28th member of the European Union. Uh, we started with six. This is the seventh wave of enlargement that we call it in our, in our time. The first one since uh, 2007. And I think this one, the exception of Croatia, speaks a lot about the vitality of the European Union. You know, some in this country and elsewhere, last year, two years ago, three years ago, were saying not very nice things about the future of the Union. Well, here it is, Croatia joining today is a signal, a positive signal, of the vitality of the European Union today, and the openness of the European Union. But it is also a very strong message revealing the strength of the people and of the much you've done in the last uh, 10 years to prepare for this, for this meeting. We know that we were very tough on it uh, because the conditions for accession for, for, for Croatia were particularly uh, tough, I would say. You know, for all sorts of reasons that we may discuss this afternoon in our panel and the Institute of Peace. But I know it, they were difficult negotiation and the pro Croatia responded in a formidable way. So it's, uh, we are extremely happy to know that you're here. You bring uh, another dimension to the European Union. You bring uh, a couple of million more citizens for this big project. You also confirm that we want to finish our job. We want to continue to welcome countries that are ready and eager to join the European Union. <coughs> we are very happy to see another Western Balkan country coming in. And I see ambassadors from other the Western Balkan countries here, their turn will come. Uh, and Croatia is a good example. Hard work, reform, reconciliation produce results. And uh, again, a great day for Europe. I hope a great day for Croatia, I'm sure. But also a good day for the United States. We have a stronger Europe. We are projecting our ideals towards the Western Balkans. We are enlarging the area of peace security, stability that is behind the European project. So, congratulations to the the Paris, congratulations to all the Croat people, welcome to the European Union as a 28th member. Thank you.